Who's that? Is it you? Who's that? Is it you? I've just tried to watch Hamilton on Disney Plus. Struggling. I lasted about 25 minutes. And now we're going to watch... Yeah, she doesn't like it either, do you? So I think what I'm going to do is turn it off and put Frozen 2 on and have a little cuddle with the baby. Because she likes Frozen. Don't you? <laughs> she is obsessed with this light. This light up here. She's constantly looking at it. Absolutely obsessed with it. I was uh, rehearsing with my band this morning. It was uh, nice to come back and have a, a little sing song. I'm subtly filming her because if I mute the telly and I put the phone right in front of her face, she stops talking. It's like she's embarrassed. I might turn the telly down a little bit. I'm watching Ninja Warrior. She does that all the time. You. What are you doing? You still haven't done the camera a nice big smile. And everybody wants to see your nice big smile. Uh, You're joking. I'm going to hide away back over here. Ooh. See, she's being nice now. She doesn't know there's a camera on her. <laughs> Hello. Uh, a really bad angle. So, it's a couple of days later. Uh, nothing really happened yesterday. Hi, Kitty. Um, how, one thing that did happen was I ran out of um, lip liner. So, I thought I'd try this new Lady Gaga one. Dan's taken Dot out for a walk, even though it's going to rain. <laughs> Like, have you got the rain cover? Have you got the the shade thing? What do you call it? It's not a parasol, it's just like a piece of fabric. Ooh. So it looks like that. And it's a, a lip crayon, it's not a liner. But it looks like a nice colour. Now I don't I think that might be oh no, it does roll up. That's good. I thought you just got like the little point after I'd ordered it. I was like, oh great. Beauty lights that are yellow and broken. Right, let's have a look. You. It's meant to be like a long lasting lipstick. The colour's a lot more pink than I thought it would be. So I'm glad I didn't pick the more pink one. It glides on lovely. And then what? <gasps> I'm scared in case I break it. Yeah, so it's meant to be long lasting, but like not quite as good as a liquid lipstick. It's dead easy to put on. And you can be really precise because it's pointy and little. There we go. Hmm, that's really intense actually. It's more intense than I thought it would be. Where's the lid? Is this lid going to stay on? Yes. Mm, I'm not sure it's my colour, but... Like, it definitely looks like I've got lipstick on, which I don't usually go for these days, but... There. Okay, so it's 10 to 2 now in the afternoon. Let's see how long it lasts. We are going out to, I think we're going to be in queue. Dan wants some more paint for the bench because you started using the patio paint and uh, you ran out after about three slats. So 
we're doing that. I want to go to the range because Dan grows all these little plants like tomatoes and herbs and spring onions and things, but he's using my nice bench. <laughs> so I want to get him like a little, I want him to get himself a little like tower. Oh, I missed a bit of hair to straighten there. Totally have, haven't I? Um, I want him to get a little, I don't know, it's like a little shelving thing specifically for plants. Uh, and I saw it in the range last time I went with my sister, so I'm going to make him get one because I want my bench back. <laughs> not that the weather's been nice at all. It's not been nice enough for us to um, actually sit out or anything. It's growing on me, these lips. It looks really, I don't know, orangey on camera, but it's not in real life. It's quite, I don't know, rosy, rose tinted. God, I don't think I'm going to wear my hair down. It was a nightmare. I was just feeding her. I was like, <laughs> the whole time. That's the lips and the natural light. God, they look really pink. Um, but, um, I don't know. We'll see. I am actually thinking about cutting my hair short. And <laughs> as a hairdresser, I get loads of mums coming in and they're like, oh, yeah, can I have long, got long hair like me? And like, oh, can I have it cut really short? Um, I'm a new mum, I've just had a baby. And I'm like, what the hell are you cutting your hair short for? Don't be ridiculous. But now that I am a mum, <laughs> I totally get why they have their hair cut short. But I love having long hair, so. But I think I might look quite cute with like a little, I used to have a bob all the time, so long as my hair's been in years. I don't know, what do you think? It's like a little, I don't know. Nice to have a change. I've had long hair for quite a long time now. So what's everybody been up to then? <sighs> I have had a really quiet weekend actually. Um, I've had a couple of visitors come and give Dot a little cuddle, which has been nice. Um, Dan, Dan's uh, pub opened up again on uh, Saturday. And I fully expected to come home, you know, him to come home and be like, oh my God, that was so awful. Oh, it was absolutely manic. And uh, when he showed up, I said, oh, how was it? Was everything all right? And he was like, yeah, it was absolutely dead. <laughs> they have to take everybody's name and address that comes into the pub. Um, you know, you can't just walk in and go and sit yourself down. You've got to meet somebody at the entrance they take your details they'll go and you know they'll ask you how many are in your group and they'll take you to the table you know so he said there were way too many uh staff members on for how busy it was and he said he's never so he worked saturday sunday and he said he's never known a Sunday would be busier than a Saturday because I think people had, he said, <clears throat> he said that he thinks people had sort of walked by the pub on Saturday, seeing how busy it was and then thought, oh, it's not that bad, we'll go tomorrow, you know? So, so yeah, he said he's never known it, he's never known a Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I can tell it's been ages since I uh, looked after myself, can't you? I am going into work on Wednesday. That's going to be interesting. Um, I did do a couple of my colleagues' hair earlier in the week. Um, just to sort of get myself used to doing hair again you know because like it's been a very long time for me because obviously I had to quit ever since sooner with being pregnant and the corona starting up again um so I felt like oh god I'm gonna be really out of practice but actually I'm, I'm not I was quite quick um because I was expecting to be you know taking an hour and a half to put foils in but I did it in like 40 45 minutes so that was good I guess um 
a mess. That was good, just to sort of make sure I was doing everything right and remember what I was doing. And yeah, it was good. But yeah, I'm back in to work on Wednesday because I figured, like, yes, I'm going to be on maternity leave. I am on maternity leave. Um, but you're allowed to do 10 on keep in touch days. I've probably mentioned this actually. I can't remember what I've mentioned and what I've told to humans, you know, face to face or on the phone or whatever. But um <clears throat> yeah, you're allowed 10 keep in touch days. And I figured, well, you know, it's gonna be really busy now. Might as well work now, you know. But yeah, Dan's day off is Wednesday, so and I used to work Wednesdays. So I'm going back. Ooh, on a Wednesday. I'm sure it'll be fine. I can only do like three customers in a day because you're only allowed one customer at a time. And the majority of my customers are colour clients and it takes ages because you've got your time to put it on, the time for it to develop, the time to wash it off, tone it, cut it, blow dry it. Not that I'm going to be blow drying. Um, there's no proof. They've said there's no proof to say that... Um, blow drying can send the virus around the room but at the same time they haven't said that there isn't any proof do you know what I mean like I just want to be extra careful they've said customers don't have to wear masks mine are going to wear masks I don't want to have to wear a mask I'm going to wear a mask and a visor um so yeah I'm just going to do everything I can really to be as careful as possible because obviously I can't get ill and I can't bring anything home to Dottie and Dan so at work on the booking system they've given us like 15 minutes to clean after every customer and before every customer <sighs> yeah it's gonna be interesting I really need to cut my fringe again again oh yeah hilariously as well something that occurred to me was if I'm at work all day how am I going to breastfeed my child so I'm gonna have to take my breast pump to work with me aren't I <laughs> Oh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's going to be a bit weird, isn't it? Like breast, pumping breast milk in the toilets. <laughs> I don't have another option, do I? Like, <clears throat> can't have Dan bring her to work, can I? I'll just be weird. Ooh, exciting. Um, I finally, I've been wanting one for ages. Oops. I don't know why I'm putting jewellery on because babies <laughs> not that she particularly you know aims for my jewelry it's just her hands seem to flap around where i have the jewelry and she just grabs it of course so i just had to spend the last 10 minutes cleaning the um car seat for the baby because that little twat up there the cat meg decides she likes to sleep in it and I've told him before, like, when he puts it away, please can he put it upside down so the cat doesn't sit in it? And of course he doesn't. I had to get the special lint roller that I bought, you know. <laughs> yeah. Rediscovered this old jacket, and the reason is because it's got loads of pockets. <laughs> because, like, when you have a baby uh, nappy bag or whatever... It's just full of stuff for the baby, and I can't have a handbag as well. So I've rediscovered my uh, jacket because it's got great big pockets, which are ace because I can just put all my, you know, my card and my phone and everything in there. So that's good. Right, I'm ready. What? Is she okay? Oh, is she? Hello. Hello. Did you have a nice walk? Did you have a good walk, baby girl? You got a milky mouth. <laughs> what did you see? Do you see the birdies in the trees? There's about five minutes stuck on that. Oh. That's pretty clean. Oh, little gorgeous girl. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? What's so funny? <laughs> what are you looking at? What are you laughing at? 
You little cheeky girl. <laughs> such a big girl now. You're such a big girl. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty girl. Ooh. Look at you. Huge. That's my hand. Look at the size of her. Yeah, little chunky girl. You little chunky girl. Yeah. Look how nice and quiet Asda is. Uh, I'm on the baby aisle and I've picked up these bigger bottles because she's she's getting a bit greedy these days. And it's got a uh, size, no wait is it, the, the speed flow is like two, which means it'll come out a little bit quicker, but I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Anyway, we need hand wash, talc, cotton buds, tissue. <laughs> Dan wrote those on because he's hilarious. Cotton buds. What else do we need? Talc. Where the bloody hell's that then? Oh, over here. Some ready-made milk for emergencies. And this has gone up in price loads. It was like 10 quid just before lockdown. Oh. Go on, nice baby. Is she asleep? Right. Oh. We got Asda's own coffee last time. Yeah. Uh, it's two pounds. Is that? It's not nice for an offer, is that? Do you would like? Yeah. What did you it's guess what? Let me beep. Mm. Oh, she Stop looks me. very squashed. I tried to move her, but she got uncomfortable and snuggled back into the same position. All right. Oh, I need some more cereal. That's Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. How do I follow you? I'm cooking a Hello Fresh. Tonight we are having chicken, red wine jus and mushroom stew with mushed potato with skin on bollocks things. And it says it's a rapid meal. Oh, it's cheesy mash. There's no cheese in that bag. Um, oh yeah, there is there's Italian hard cheese. So yeah, that's what happened tonight. It says it takes 20 minutes. We'll see. We I finished at the supermarket. We went to see my cousin Gillian, her family, which was lovely. Um, because I just feel like you know, coronavirus is here to stay, isn't it? And I am being careful. I'm using hand sanitizer, and you know, the people that I'm letting dot see are very sensible people that will wash their hands and sanitize them before they touch her and do you know what I mean and I just think as long as everybody's careful we'll be all right you know like you've got to live your lives can't live in fear and do you know what nothing's gonna to happen to dot you can't Like, children don't catch it as much. I know that might be a really stupid thing to say, and I'm tempting fate, but I think she's going to be all right. Like I said, she's not spending time with people that go to pubs and do risky, stupid things, you know? Let's see if this is actually 20 minutes. I quite like faffing around when I'm cooking. I like to take my time because I enjoy doing it. Let's see if it does actually take 20 minutes. Right, this meal... Would be ready in 20 minutes, but, all right, the problem I've got is that they send me diced chicken, which would be fine, diced chicken thigh, but some pieces are this big and some pieces are that big. So that's not going to cook evenly, is it? Do you know what I mean? So I have to spend, like, you know, a good couple of minutes chopping it all up to make sure it's all the same size, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Finished meal. Took about half an hour. Yeah, let's see how it is. All right, cheesy mash. Mmm. 
Mm. Yeah. It's really good. Try it. I have a link down below if you want £20 off your first box, which means you get three meals for a tenner. Mmm. Yum. What do you reckon, baby? It's quite violent, isn't it? Mm. And Kirsty that gave it us called a Rita Queen of Speed, you know, that really fast roller coaster at Alton Towers. She seems to like it, doesn't she? Mm. And we're having our tea in peace, so... Five past eight, and I'm going to work. Ugh. It'll be fine. You guys gonna be okay? Yeah, I think so. She's smiling. Yeah, mommy, we'll be okay. Oh, have you seen her? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've got my visor ready. <sighs> See you soon. <sighs> You're gonna be good. Yeah, she's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, good luck then. Oh, okay. First full day without any mummy. There's plenty of milk in the formula machine and it's the worst that could happen. <sighs> good luck. <laughs> Rosie just said, fucking hell, when did you decorate them? I hadn't given birth when we did it. Just remember, I've not been in your house for a long time. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's so much better, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, turn again. Let's look at the back. Wow. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Very good. Oh, thank you. Welcome. But a lot of cleaning, <clears throat> but it was fine. Like, all the customers were really lovely, really happy to see me. Yeah, and I had to uh, wear one of those visors, you know, over the front of my face. They were horrible, really like sweaty and steamy and condensation y. Um, so I got a different one that was like a pair of glasses. And it had be better ventilation. I forgot it was on, to be honest. That was really good. Um, and then I missed the little baby all day. Um, I only had time to um, pump express breast milk once. For about 10 minutes the whole day. So I was in quite a lot of pain when uh, I got home. And of course she was fast asleep. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Boobs were quite sore. 
but I made so much milk. Like I remember a couple of weeks ago, it was probably the last time I expressed milk. Um, and I bet I got about 30 mil, about 15 mil out of both boobs, you know, either boobs, 30 mil altogether. Look at your strong girl holding your head up. And uh, when I expressed for 20 minutes, because I did 10 minutes at work and another 10 minutes when I got home, I had 130 mil. Um, so, makes a difference. I believe that time makes a difference. And that putting pressure on yourself makes a difference. You strong girl holding your head up. She's massive. She was 11 pounds. I don't know if I mentioned last week. So God knows what she's now. But we're going for a health visit, a checkup next Friday. Um, she'll be eight weeks next Friday. Seven weeks tomorrow. Um, so she's having all the jabs and everything, which we're not looking forward to. You just dived over there. Didn't you? What are you doing? <laughs> just flop you back over that's it she's wiggling she's been really refluxy the last couple of days um, being quite sicky and so I'm just keeping her set up she's just been fed I'm just trying to keep her a bit more upright so that she doesn't yeah be sicky seems to have been better today because I've made a conscious effort to like do everything I can to stop her being sick because she's never she's never been sicky before. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm sure you saw I coloured Rosie's hair, um, which was in desperate need of doing. Look how strong this baby is. <laughs> um, so that was nice to have a little catch up with her. And I was going to kiss you then, and you moved away. <laughs> there you are, seven week old baby. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? There you are. You are a gorgeous girl. You're so big. I wonder how much you weigh. You'll find out soon. You're going to follow the camera. Yeah. You're over here now. She's really good, aren't you? Following the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what a gorgeous smile. <laughs> yes. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I just love her so much. You're going to make me cry, baby. Do another big smile. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Got a grumbly tummy as mummy. You're all fed and sorted, aren't you? Yeah, little smiler. You look tired now. Right. Say bye-bye. Look, I'm over here now. No, she's not looking anymore. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we shall see you in the next one. Bye.